So here we have the BMW 118i M Sport Automatic on a 68 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we're going to hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But from the outside you can see it's a five door car with alloy wheels and tinted windows. Let's start off inside the boot and then work our way around the rest of the car from there. So as we approach the boot, you'll see that we've got plenty of space in there, along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat, should you wish to increase that space further. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back round to the front of the car, and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But now that we've done a full circle of it, you can see not only is it a great looking car, but it's in fantastic condition the whole way round. Just briefly before we climb in, I think as well we're seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. You get four leather seats, there's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that right now. Okay, so now they're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side we have the speedometer and fuel gauge, and on the right-hand side the rev counter. In the middle at the bottom, uh, we've got the total miles on this car, which are 3,144. The information displayed above that can be changed by pressing a button on the end of the indicator stalk for various different bits of trip computer information or the digital readout for the speedometer that you see being displayed now. We're back out to the steering wheel. On the left-hand side, we have a speed limiter. And on the right-hand side, we have stereo controls and phone controls. So we've got the ability to answer phone calls and use voice activation for the phone. So you can hit that button and ask it to dial any one of your contacts list. It will do that for you without you having to take your phone from your bag or your pocket. That is, of course, once you paired the phone up, and that is done over on the central screen just here. Uh, so you can see this car's got satellite navigation. There's a full video showing how this works on both our website and on our Facebook page. In terms of all the movement that I'm making at the moment on the screen, it's all being done using the iDrive system, which is essentially this dial here and the button surrounding it. So you can access your satellite navigation, for example, from here. But twisting this dial will take you through the various options on the screen. This then pushes down to select an option. It also moves to the left, to the right, up and down as well, uh, which becomes useful within certain menus. So uh, for example, uh, radio media, just push the button down. You can see that we've got DAB, FM, AM, uh, radio all available to us. We have a CD player. We can stream music wirelessly via Bluetooth audio once you pair your phone. And we have USB input as well. You can jog the dial to the left to go back a page or you can press the menu button to go back there. That's where you pair your phone and of course satellite navigation we've already had a little look at just a moment ago. Working all the way down, we have the CD player and then air conditioning. So first of all, you can turn the fans on and up or down from here. You can determine the temperature you'd like the car to be at, the direction you'd like the air to be distributed in when it enters the car, and then hit that button to turn the air conditioning on. If you hit auto, the car will take control of the fan speed to maintain the temperature you've asked for. So you'll hear the fan speed start to increase. Uh, you can override that by pressing the auto button again and you'll go back to whatever setting you were on previously. Below that, we have two cup holders and a 12 volt charging socket under that cap and you can close that over if you wish to. The fully automatic gearbox and then these buttons just to the right of that. So we can turn off the traction control with that button. And this one changes the driver setup of the car. So you can either put it in sport mode or eco pro. Comfort mode is the, the, the mode that it's in now, which is the kind of regular driving mode, if you like. But if I press sport and then show you up on the screen as I press it, it will let you know there that you put the car into sport mode. There is also beyond sport, uh, a sport plus mode, which is exactly the same as sport, but gives you dynamic traction control. So just a limited amount of traction control. You can go back down to sport, down to comfort and then down to eco pro all that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video if you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive please feel free to call any of our mja sites we'd love to hear from you soon